Come on in. Happy July. Happy new month. Come on in, come on in. Who that devil is still not busy? Don't want you to be on here, but he's we, we going to work. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, and what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to share it. Um, okay. So I've tagged you, so you can share it to um, your page or, you know, to other places. Okay, so can I still do it while I'm talking to you? Yes. So I keep seeing the comments. Do I need to move, slash it around so I won't see the comments? That's up to you. Okay, someone may want to ask you a question. Okay. So let me, um, as long as you can see me and hear me, we're good. Yes. I'm going to move around to this other room. That way I'm like, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? I'm like, you know, you, ooh, I was getting frustrated and everything. I know. Oops. So, so glad you're here to join Wanda's Warriors Live. Me too. What can I do it like that? Let me see. Will it do horizontal? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, everyone that's coming in, welcome to Wanda's Warriors Live. It's a new month. And it is July, which is the seventh month. And the seventh month is the month, the number of completion. So I already know that God's going to complete some things on this month. So I also want to say happy birthday to those who may be having celebrating their birthday in July. Happy anniversary. And so I just believe that God is going to complete the work that he has started in you this month. So I need you to like and share this video so that it can help someone because it's going to be a blessed broadcast yeah. today. Despite the technical difficulties, we are yeah. going forward. <laughs> the devil is defeated. Oh, my yes, goodness. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Because we got to make some things happen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's your song. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> got to make it happen. Yes, and we're going to talk about that. Okay. Um, first, I want to um, I want to read your bio, because you, you have an amazing bio. I was like, oh, my God. She is on fire for the Lord. Oh, shoot. <laughs> And so my guest tonight, her name is Cece Godbolt, is that, and she is anointed, powerful, hardworking, and persistent are not always adjectives that can be used to describe the same person. However, for Cece, those adjectives are just some of the words one can use to describe this dynamic woman and servant of God psalmist, songwriter, and actress of the role she plays in order to shine her light and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. While she is constantly focused on working for the kingdom, she is also a woman with a huge heart who loves God and people. Yeah. Featuring in the 2020 September Women of Dignity Media as the artist slash actress of the month, 
She's been featured in the 2019 November issue of Woman and Ministry Magazine, 2019 guest artist on Couch Time with Sanja, live taping in Houston, Texas. She's been inducted into the 2019 Who's Who and Black Dallas 5th edition, the Key of Gospel Music and Ministry Awards 2019 Traditional Gospel, I'm sorry, Traditional Artist of the Year. Yes, Lord. Yes, for the 2019 and 2018 two-time Emmy Award winning 35th Annual Black Music and the Silver Rights Movement Concert. CC participated in the 2017 Stella Award Showcase in Las Vegas, Nevada. She is the recipient of the 2016 Best Actress in a Gospel Stage Play, Creeps and Silly Women, and nominated by Church Stars Entertainment in Phoenix, Arizona. KHVN Heaven 97 AM Homegrown Honors in 2016, Female Artist of the Year, 2015 Epitome Artist of the Year Award nominated by the Epitome Magazine, and the 2014 Female Gospel of the Year, and Homegrown Artist of the Year, awarded by the Dallas-based radio station, KHVN Heaven 97. She is a participant of the 2014 Stella Award Showcase in Nashville, Tennessee, voted Most Outstanding New Artist at the 2008 Texas Gospel Music Excellence Awards. CC has participated twice on the Bobby Jones Gospel Presents New Artist Showcase in Nashville, Tennessee. She is a two-time winner at Showtime in, a, in Harlem, New York. She toured Barcelona, Spain, and Italy. My God, my God. <laughs> the Women of God Gospel Group, 706 Entertainment Production. She was a headliner for the Gospel Stage Plays Honor Thy Mother, What a Sister Should Do, Seven Women, One Man, The Replacement Wife, What in the Hell Do You Want, <laughs> Last Seven Words of Christ, Creed and Silly Women, The Gift, The Calling, Hallelujah, He Reigns, Just Like Your Daddy, The mm. Ten Commandments, and Soul Purpose. In 2018, she was nominated for the best stage play um, by the Church Stars Entertainment in Phoenix, Arizona. You got what you wanted, but lost what you had. My God. When the mm -hmm. tables turn, delivered, forgiven, redeemed, and a Christmas story. Cece has opened up and shared the stage with the late Walter Hawkins, one of my favorites, mm. Doug and Melvin Williams of the Williams Brothers, Patti LaBelle, George Huff, Trinity 5-7, Tony Grant of Tyler Perry's Why Did I Get Married and Love Thy Neighbor, Pastor Norma Hutchins, Shirley Murdoch, Ann Nesby, Andrea Helms, Percy Batty, Dr. Bobby Jones, Marvin Sapp, another favorite of mine, mm -hmm. Tommy Ford from the hit show Martin, Suzanne Douglas, which is award, she's an award-winning actress, singer, and producer, Andre Pitre from Tyler Perry's I Don't Want to Do Wrong, Wes Morgan, Midnight Star, Christopher Williams of New Jack City, Gary Little G of the R&B group Silk, Myron Butler, legendary Vanessa Bell Armstrong, Jessica Reedy, who was the season two of Sunday's Best Runner-Up, Casey J, who was also a Stella Award-winning artist, Tasha Cobbs Leonard, Grammy Award, Stella Award, and Dove Award-winning artist, Kathy Taylor in favor, Christian Keys of Tyler Perry's Diary of a Mad Black Woman, Brian Courtney Wilson, Lamar Campbell, Don Lewis from It's a Different World, Kim Coles of Living Color, and many more. Cece has a CD in, in titled Make It Happen. And her CD, I'm going to put this plug in. 
her CD is available on all streaming <laughs> platforms, <laughs> and I play it all the time. And my favorite song is "Make It Happen." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta make it happen. <laughs> gotta make it happen. Yes. And CD's motto is "With God." All things, things are possible. possible. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So Amen. Welcome, CC, to Wanda's Warriors Live. It is a pleasure to have you on here. How are you doing today? <sighs> well, I can breathe now. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <laughs> In spite of the technical difficulties, I'm good. And thank you so much, Wanda, for having me on Wanda's Live. You're I'm welcome. so excited. So excited. You're welcome. I am thankful for the connection, and you are amazing. You have oh opened God. up for some of the gospel greats that people would just admire on TV or, you know, buy their albums and CDs. How did you get started in gospel music? Well, actually, I started singing when I was three years old. Wow. Um, I'm sorry, five years old. Let me back it up. Five years old in kindergarten. And my very first song was I Come to the Garden Alone. And mm -hmm. after that, you know, just growing up, um, singing in the Sunbeam Choir, the Junior Choir, and then graduating on into college, I sung in the uh, choir there. It just, you know, um, the Lord allowed doors to open for me in ministry through the gift. And I have to, you know, I have to say first and foremost, I give... Um, all credit to my heavenly father for the for the gift as well as my father my biological father who is going on to be with the lord he actually could sing as well and so i think wow. he could keep it down from my yeah. father the gift <laughs> and i just you know i just carried it and and still carrying it and trying to do just you know what the lord has gifted me to do to just reach the masses you know through the ministry so professionally i've been singing probably the last 14 15 years Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how how did you get to the point where you opened up for the all of these gospel greats and winning all these awards? Did did it just favor or did someone guide you into this area? I would say favor and also people hearing me and then referring me okay. to to events and things of that nature. Um, with the Tasha Cobbs and that, that was for um, uh, Jimmy Spy, I don't know if you know him, he does this big gigantic concert that he has that he bring in all of these um, professional artists. And so he looked for local artists, you know, to open up. And I happened to be one of the persons that he reached out to about opening up for this big gigantic concert, which afforded me the opportunity to share the stage with Tasha Cobbs, with uh, Casey J at that time, um, Vanessa Ball Armstrong was on there, Shirley, Mer I mean Shirley Caesar, and a lot of others. So that just gave me an op it gave me an opportunity from just that the very first time. And then because I guess God moved, He had it another year and invited me to also to be a part of it. And um, it was truly a blessing. Everything has been just a blessing from God, and it's just amazing how God will touch others yes to think of you you know and to um refer you or to you know say i know somebody that can you know do that and so that's how it came about favor of god and just people and then you know me just staying true to who i am and what i believe and just trying to be you know humble and making myself available when when god opens that door and that's you know what the scripture talks about your gift will make room for you Yes. And your gift has truly made room for you. Yes. And, you know, how do you feel, you know, it's like your phone starts ringing or you start getting emails or whatever and saying, you know, CC, we would like for you to open up for this person. I mean, how does that feel? Oh, wow. It, it makes you feel just that you know that you're doing what God has called you to do, first and foremost. And it, and it makes you feel that, I'm not going to say, well, I can say it, maybe recognize for what for what it is that you do. You know, yes. being artists out there, and there are a lot of artists out here um, that 
sing and do everything like that. But just to get the call and to know that somebody thought of me, enough of me, to want me to be a part of, you know, their event or their church service, you know, it's really truly humbling. And it's an honor, you know, yes. to even be thought about. And so I'm forever grateful, you know, to God for every opportunity and then for him putting people in my path. Mm -hmm. that can allow, you know, um, doors to be open or just opportunities or ministries to come my way. So I'm just, I'm always, have to pinch myself sometimes. <laughs> but there's certain things that has happened, it's like, oh, wow, yes. you know it was nothing but God. Nothing, nothing but, God. but God. Nothing Nothing that I did, but all to God gets all the glory. Amen, amen. Yes. Now, you also, you're an actress, and you have been in so many plays and have opened up for so many people. So first, how did you get into acting? Well, you know what, years ago, me and my husband went to a concert and it was Shirley Caesar. And I think, um, well, I think it was Fantasia. But when, when Shirley Caesar was on stage, I, in my mind, I was like, oh Lord, you know, one day I'm gonna be up there. You know, I'm going to be up there. So that stayed in my mind also. And then we went to, well, you know, here in Dallas, they would have a lot of plays here. And, you know, we would go. And I always would say, oh, I want to do that. You know, I want to do that. I want to be, you know, be in a play where I can sing and act. And so believe it or not, um, I was just here one day and I got an email from someone who I didn't know and she didn't know me. But she was looking for some um, somebody. She was just now starting out doing a play here in Dallas. And she was looking for, you know, actors and everything. So she Googled me and I happened to come up. And so she emailed me about a play that she was doing. And it was called What a Sister Should Do. And mm -hmm. so I said, oh, wow, I'm going to go and audition for this. So I did. And I got one of the leading roles. And that was my very first time actually you know, being in a play. And from that play, it allowed opportunities for all the other plays because there were other playwrights in the audience that saw my, um, yeah, that saw me perform and they were really um, like overwhelmed with it or just like, a, you know, like wanted to use me in their production. So that's how that came about. And from What a Sister Should Do, then it came with seven women, one man, creeps and silly women. What in hell do you want? And just a plethora of other um, plays that I am, have been able to be a part of. And so that's just from, you know, my performance and people seeing it and then, you know, reaching out, hey, I got a play coming up, would you, you know, want to be in it, or I have a part or a role that I want to, you know, see if you may want to do, you know, now I read it, I'm like, okay, okay, and from there, it's just, it has really allowed me opportunities to, to um, be in play, so I'm excited about that, because that's something that I really wanted to do, is act and sing also, mm -hmm. and so um, from that, with Creeps and Silly Women, the play that I was in, we won this play, um, and then I won Best Actress my very first time being nominated. <laughs> I was like, oh, and I won Best Actress in that play, Creeks and Silly Women. And here recently, about maybe two years ago, I was in another play, Soul Purpose, and we won um, Best Play for that. And so we're getting ready now to, hopefully, when everything opens up, to start touring for that. So it's just, it's it's been just amazing. I tell you, God is just amazing. And when you just surrender to him and let him do it, it's yes. like, you know, it's it's just no comparison what, you know, he can do for you if you just let him do it. And so I'm just excited and ready to continue on this journey, you know, in ministry. Amen. And I love yeah. when you said that when you saw um, Shirley Caesar up on the stage and it's like you spoke it to yourself that you wanted to be on it. And the same with acting. And so mm -hmm. in Proverbs, chapter 18 verse 21 it says the tongue has the power of life and death yes. and those who love it will eat its fruit so it's very important um as to what we speak that's true because we're speaking life or death we're yes. creating things when we put those things out in the atmosphere yes. we're creating good or bad and whatever right. that fruit that we speak with our mouth that's what we're going to eat from it. That's you know, it. You, 
you spoke it into existence. You didn't know when it was going to come. You, mm -mm. you didn't know. You didn't know how you was going to get there. But you just <laughs> knew you was going to get there. Hey, you spoke I knew it was going to happen. Yes. And yeah. that's how we have to have that yeah. faith. You and do. You know, sometimes it may not come six months. It may not come in a year. But right. just keep speaking. It's, I want to encourage mm -hmm. someone who's watching the live or who may watch the replay. You know, mm -hmm. you've been speaking something and it hasn't come to pass yet. Continue to speak it. Mm -hmm. You know, because you you know God is lining things up. There may be some things in within you that God has to get together before He can open that door. Exactly. For you. That's true. You know, so that's very important. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, like you said, the Word of God says you have to speak those things as though they are. So you start telling yourself that you I can do this or this is yes. going to happen you know and I and I do that I always tell myself okay I can do this this is going to happen I don't know when but I know that it's going to happen okay God you've never let me down you know so far so I'm depending on you whenever it happens I'm going to be ready because <laughs> sometimes like you said he he's trying to get us prepared yes. and it may take a while to get us prepared to what God has for us but you still have to stay in that thing and trust him, like you said, and have faith and believe that it will happen eventually. Not on our time, but on God's time. Because we all, everything, we, we have a season for a lot of things. And I know I, I hear people, you know, as far as artists, they, they want to compare themselves with other artists. You know, well, this is happening to that artist. You know, why is it happening to me? What is their season? And yes. it may not be your season yet. So if you just hold on and just trust God and wait for your season, then it'll come. Because what God has for another person is not for you. It's just for that person. And I always tell myself, whatever God has for Cece, it's for Cece. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm ready to receive everything that he has for me. And we also have to get to the point that while we're waiting in our season for, for whatever mm -hmm. it is that we're waiting on, that we ought to rejoice those that have received it. Yes. They may have received the new home or a new car mm -hmm. or a husband or a wife, and you're waiting for those things. Rejoice yes. in that because God yes. is looking at that. If you're not rejoicing what God is blessing them, then how can God bless you? Bless you. That's it. Thing? That's it. Right. Yeah. And, and I, want, I want my blessing. Yeah, and I want my blessing. So I'm going to rejoice in however he's blessing my sisters and my brothers because I know if he did it for them, he can do it for me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they say God done delivered the mail to your next door neighbor. But right. well, one thing we know for sure, the mail comes daily. So he, you may not be getting that mail today, but you may get but, that mail on tomorrow. Exactly. But it's on your street. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> it's coming on down. Yes, it's coming on down. It's coming on down. It's coming on down. Yeah. And so, Cece, you're also a songwriter. Yes. And how, you know, songwriting, a lot of times people will listen to the beat of a song, but I listen to the lyrics because mm -hmm. the lyrics are so important. A song can have a nice beat, but right. you listen to the lyrics, and it may not be something you need to be listening to. <laughs> right. <laughs> And you and I know a lot of times in the church we tend to hear the beat first, right? And then it's like my dad he would always say, "Listen to the lyrics, yes. listen to the lyrics, and make sure the lyrics line up with the word of God." Right. Like a lot of times we get so caught up in that beat, right. and you're singing something, and you may be prophesying something in error all right. your life, but you like yeah. the beat. So right. How did you get involved with songwriting? Well, on my first um, CD, which was titled "I Will," well, which is titled "I Will Praise," my very first one that I did, um, I wrote two, two songs. He said, "And I will praise you." And during that time of me um, preparing myself for the CD and everything, I kind of went through something. You know, the enemy was real busy at that time with the CD and everything. And the Lord just spoke to me. And as I was going through, he he simply just said, he said, and I, I, my husband can tell you, I was walking through the house saying, he said he'll be by my side no matter what I'm going through. He said, he said he'll never leave me. And so I wrote a song titled, He Said, 
from just from what I was going through. Because that is so true. God said he will never leave you. Although yeah. friends, family sometimes will, mm -hmm. but he said he'll be by my side. And so that's how I came about. He said, and then there's another song that I wrote titled, I Will Praise You. And <laughs> during, during the, that whole time, it was because I told the Lord, no matter what I'm going through, although I know what it looks like right now, still I will praise you. From the bottom of my heart, I will praise you. And so that just, and those, both of those songs just came through uh, a time in my life when, when the enemy was busy. And so that's how that came about. With, with now make it happen, I wrote that one. And that came about because I was just sitting around one day saying, you know what? No matter what, I got to make it happen. I'm trying to make it happen. And I thought about my journey because, you know, I, I've been on this journey for a while. And, and, and the lyrics simply, simply say, because it's my testimony, that I've been on this journey oh so long. I didn't know how I was going to make it on my own because I didn't know how I was going to make it. I've had some family and friends to walk away. But then I realized that serving the Lord, that's the price you got to pay. Because it truly, friends, there are some who, yeah, there are family members, yeah. But we know that this will happen. Anytime you're on the journey for the Lord, these things will happen. And, and then too, when you're giving God the praise and thanking him, then people will walk away. They don't understand yeah. your praise anyway. And then the other part of the song says that um, I wanted to give up, but I knew that there was a brighter day. Because yeah. I did, I wanted to give up so many times, so many times. Yeah. But then I realized that there was a brighter day. And so I looked to the hills from which cometh my help. With my help. For all my help comes, comes from, the, from Lord. the Lord. So I got to make it. I'm trying to make it. And so that's how that song came about. Just a testimony of, of just me and, and my journey and what I've gone through. To just tell somebody to let them know that no matter what you go through, you can make it happen. Your Amen. gifts, whatever they may be, that you can still do whatever God has called you to do. You can make it happen because you got to make it happen. And it's really for kingdom building. It's not yes. for, when I, when I think about that and, 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 people seeing that or whatever, got to make it happen, I'm trying to make it happen. It's not so much as um, the platforms that I'm trying to make it happen, got to make it happen to be on the major platforms, but it's kingdom building. I got to make it happen. I'm gotta trying make to make it happen. But kingdom building, to touch somebody, to let them know that you can make it happen too. And so that's how that song um, came about as far as, as my very own testimony and i just pray that it's you know that it can bless somebody to let them know that no matter what happens in your life you can make it happen amen and when yes. i told you i said how that song yes um, it's just i play it daily and so that song when i listen to the lyrics I said, oh she wrote that song for me and so, <laughs> yep because, you know, June, I don't know if you're aware, June is National Gun Violence Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And so I have three sons, and my youngest son was murdered two years ago. Oh, no. He was 22, oh. years, 22 years old. And so mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of speaking behind the scenes for the month of June mm -hmm. to other mothers and other platforms on gun violence. And it's been, you know, it's oh, hard wow. when you got yes. people talking about that and reliving right. it but yeah. it's for kingdom you know it's the, also out of that pain god yeah. is bringing people to christ to himself and so when i keep hearing that song i gotta make it happen i mean this this has been a long road family and some family and friends have left me you know sometimes mm -hmm. you feel alone but you got to keep pushing and you got to keep going forward. And I keep hearing yeah. that. I like, see, that CC wrote that song for me. <laughs> so I thank you for oh, that song. What a blessing. Yes. Thank yes. you for that song. And I want to address, there's a comment from MB Copeland. And then she said, um, sometimes we don't know what they had to go through to get it. And that's when we're talking about when people get blessed. And so yes. there's a quote that I had put in my phone today. And this was perfect. And it says, stop being jealous of people in their winning season. Yes. You don't know what they lost in their losing season. Ooh. So that goes perfect to what her comment 
um, is about because you don't know what people have gone through. The you warfare, don't. The trials. I mean, someone may have a new house now, but you don't know that maybe five years ago they was in bankruptcy. That's so it. Don't right. covet what they have now right. because you don't know the behind the scenes so, stuff of what people had to go through to get their blessings. That's true. Right. You know, so thank you, um, MB Copeland, for yes, that. Yes, thank you. Good evening, yeah, that's Minister artist. Jackie. Minister Jackie Carter oh, tuning in from I'm South Carolina. Evening. Good evening, good evening. And you know, as an artist, a lot of times we, we um, I know that sometimes it can be a little, like I said earlier, people look at what other people have accomplished and everything, but like you said, you don't know what that person or persons has gone through to get to where they are. And a lot of times you can't just um, look at your life and compare it yes. to somebody else's or their journey and compare it to someone else's journey. Mm -hmm. Because again, you don't know their journey, their struggles. You know. Uh, and what they had to go through or the obstacles, you know, that they went through to just get to where they are. And I do know as an artist and even now an actress, more so as an artist, because this is what I've always done. And I started out doing this, that it's really, and if anybody says that it's an easy journey, it's not. And if, and if it really is easy, then I'm, I'm a little leery about you because it's 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 not easy it's yeah. it's a journey that if you know that god has called you on this journey then he has equipped you as well for the journey and so sometimes you know things may not happen like you want them to overnight um where you think you may want to be it won't happen just tomorrow or within a week but you have to just um be consistent and know who you're doing it for and know that it's do that you're doing it for for God that God will get the glory and not you're trying to do it for yourself or for man because in that case it won't work. But when God is in the midst of it, then the journey is worth it. It's really worth it it's really in the worth end because in the end, you know, hey, you you win. You know, you, you it's like thank you, Lord. You know, I made it through. It, it, it's been rough, mm -hmm. but you you were with me through those tough times. You know, yes. and you can look back and say, Ooh, wow. remember we. You know, and so, but yeah, it, it, and it's rewarding when you're doing it for um, for, for Jesus. It, it really is. He didn't yeah. say that the goal would be easy, but he said, no. you know, that he would be with you. But he didn't say it would be easy. But you have to hang in there. Prayer. You got, just, yeah. yeah. You Keep have to hang to in there. You do. Those, those trials and that we go through to getting to the next level, to me, they're building character. Yes. You know, they're showing, you know, endurance, right. you know, strength. And it's also, yes. you know, the higher you go in God, the smaller your circle becomes. That's it. And, you know, it, and it can be a lonely road because you're like, right. you know, God, why can't everybody be happy for me? Why, you know, this? But that's not always the case. No, that's just not life. I wish it was, but yeah. it's not because everybody's not going to be happy for you because everybody don't want you to excel and to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. But I always say, if God is for me, who can be against me? So I, I, if it's just if it's just Jesus, my husband, and me, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a good combination. <laughs> okay, a uh, Jesus, my husband and me, I'm good. Yeah, Amen. but it, you know, Amen. but everybody they, they they really can't, and you have to be real careful about people who are trying to pull on your coattail, who's trying to go. You know, you you have to be real careful, and 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 ask yourself, okay, hmm, you know, what is the motive or why? You know, you want real genuine people to be in your in your corner as well, but you don't want those people who are just trying to ride to your coattail just because they're trying to see what they can get out of, you know? So you Amen. have to have that discernment. That's, you know, I, that's what I call it, that discernment that you have to really ask God and say, okay, you know, because everybody can't go where you go. Everybody can't go where you go. They, last week's yeah. show, when I had talked about you know, there seems to be a discernment deficiency in the kingdom and that Ooh. we have to know who's attached and who's assigned to us. And we talked, me and the guests from last week, we talked about that. And I, so this is confirmation yeah. that, you know, God was speaking clearly. And, you know, and I yes. gave the examples of the attachment versus an assignment. Someone that's attached to you, they just want to ride your coattail. They don't want to do no work. But they want to get the accolades. 
that you get. But right. someone that's assigned to you, they're going to be your pusher. They're going to pray right. for you. There you, you know, go. They don't want nothing from you. They want to, you know, be in the background and help mm -hmm. you get to that next level because it's about kingdom business. And that's right. how you know the difference between someone that's attached to you and someone that's assigned, assigned. to you. Yeah, that's so true. That is so true. And you have to be, be careful for those who, people who are trying to attach themselves to you. Yes. You, you really do. Um, it's sad to say, but in the world that we live in now, you, you just can't be too safe, you know, and you got to be kind of guarded, you know. And so I am, you know, I'm real careful about who I let in my circle because you have to, you know, my husband had to kind of, um, you know, tell me that because, you know, I'm one that I want, well, I want this friend, I want this person, come, you know. But he said, "You, you, baby, you can't, you can't. You gotta be real careful. You can't. Everybody can't go where you go. You know. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I had to learn that the hard way. But, but I, I'm okay now. I'm, I'm okay with it now, because I see it. You know, the more you get in to the next level, and and in, in the Word, and God will show you things, and He'll show you people. Yes. If you just, if you just, you yes. know, allow Him to. Sometimes we don't want Him to, because we're like, oh yeah. Lord, are you, I didn't want to see that, but." Yeah, especially but, but he, if they family. Right, or if, if they're friends, somebody that you, you know, you've known for a long time. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, it, it can be hurtful, but yes. helpful at the same time. So, Cece, um, let's stay on that for a minute. So, for mm -hmm. someone that who's watching or will watch, and they may be going through that in this time, mm -hmm. you know, dealing with that hurt. How did you get through it? Or can you give someone any advice on how to get well, through that? Well, you know, for me, and I have to be honest, it took a lot of praying for me to really get past some some hurts uh, because I trust and sometimes, <laughs> I mean, I trust people and you can't trust, trust everybody. And then sometimes when you do trust people who you really think that you could trust and they let you down, it's really a hurtful feeling. So yes. for me, I just really had to just, you know, ask God to just give me strength and help me deal with that so that I could get past that so that it would not hinder me on, you know, on down the road. Because a lot of times if you have an issue with trusting some someone that can linger to if the Lord puts someone in your path that really needs to be there, you, you'll have an issue because you haven't really dealt with that trust from before that. And so it'll cause you to be like a little skeptical or like, oh, I don't know if I should trust that person. <laughs> but you really, but you really should. And yeah. so for me, I just had to let it go. I just had to give it to God and say, Lord, you know what? It's nothing I can do with it. Just give me the strength and help me to go further to where you want me to go. And show me, you know, show me, you know, that person and give me signs of the trust or what should I do? And so when God did, I, it's like, okay, I could trust, you know? And so I just had to kind of just let that past, let it go. And sometimes you have to, but you can't bring it on with you everywhere you go. You, you got to release. That, exactly. to release. Yeah. And so that's what I did. And so I, I'm at a point now where I'm okay with that. I, I've, I've let my guard down a whole lot uh, because at one point it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and so now it's, it's, I'm in a good place when it comes to that because my prayer is that God will put those people in my path that he would, you know, have to be there. Not me, but who he wants to be in my path, that he would bring them. So I know when God does it, then I know <laughs> I don't have to be concerned or worried about it because he did it and not me. Because sometimes we'll try to do it and bring people on or whatever and, and then issues and then, like you said, the trust and all that because that's who we want. But that may not be who God wants. And so when we Amen. just rely on him and, and consult him first about it and then let him do it and then, you know, it all works out. So that's how it has been for me and it still is. And so I just, like I said, for anybody that's listening, that's going through that, just let go and let God and just leave it, leave that hurt back there. Don't try to bring it, you know, with you. Can't, don't carry that with you. Just leave it back there. 
and so that you can move on to what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And you have to learn to love people from a distance. You do. Oh my God. Yes, love, you do. Love them from a distance. From a distance. That's it. Love That's them it. from a distance. Yes. And those mm -hmm. people that God will send to you to help you along the way, those are called destiny helpers. Okay, okay I got a new one. Yes. Destiny. Okay, destiny amen. Destiny helpers. Destiny helpers. They're called destiny helpers. Wow. Yes. And so, Cece, you're also a psalmist. That's one of my favorite um, words, because I sing on the praise and worship team, so I love um, psalmist. So for those who don't understand the term psalmist, can you tell us what exactly is a psalmist? Well, I think a psalmist, for what my interpretation of it, of, of a psalmist, is, is more of someone that's a, a worshiper, um, that you know that worships the lord as far as their praise in in their worship time and in their ministry um that goes forth you know not just i i've been a praise and worshiper as far as praise and worship team and all of that and uh, a, a psalmist you know but i think it's a little different because to me as a psalmist i mean you know you just freely to just be who you know god who you want to be you know you just out there you're just giving god the praise and just you know delivering you know his song as a psalmist because it's different to me as a praise and worshiper because you know you get praise and worship you're on a team you're with people but as yeah. a psalmist you know it's, it's just you and you can just go forth and just let god you have his way through you as that psalmist you know yeah. that's that's my my take my take on that yeah you can flow freely yeah you more can. so when yeah you're right, a you really can flow prophetically um versus in a group a lot of times you're in a time frame you're just gonna do this a and b selection and be gone sit down. <laughs> exactly exactly but you can just pretty much have your way you know when it's just you and god yeah you know and letting god just use you you know so yeah not, I think we need more psalmists, and you know, especially during these time. You know, the world has been closed for over yes. a year and a half, and Ooh. you know, people need someone to speak. You know, to their soul. You know, so right. many people have lost their lives. You know, awesome. due to COVID, and right. a psalmist is needed, not just someone who can just sing a song in church. Exactly, someone that can minister to exactly. you effectively through the holy spirit yes exactly and, and we and we exactly. do need that and and we need it to where we we're not as you say with praise and worship how you get out there you do what you got to do a lot of times it's, you, you're on a time limit because some churches are structured and so they got this coming this coming and that coming so you got to be done by a certain time you know or you got maybe 45 minutes but as a mm -hmm. psalmist i'm just saying when you go forth and just it's just like i said it's just you and god and so you have that time to just minister to the people and let it flow let the holy spirit just oh, have yes. its way it mm -hmm. in the atmosphere you know so it's so different because you're not really rushed because it's just you so you just take your time and let god just have his way yes yeah. amen amen yeah. so what's next on the horizon for cc well i if just you can speak on it <laughs> i did i just finished my single a uh, title blessed be the name of the lord and Write so that down. yes and so it will be released actually this month uh, oh. This month, it will be released, my new single, Blessed Be the Name of the Lord, and it will be out there on all the digital outlets. I will have, uh, well, I'll put out there uh, a pre-release where anybody want to go and um, order it before the actual release date, but I think we're looking at uh, July 9th for the pre-release, and then after that, the release date. So I'm so excited about um about my new single, I've um, been working with a uh, artist here in Dallas. Her name is Robin McGee, and she's a phenomenal um, woman of God, um, artist, songwriter. She wrote the song, and um, we talked about it, and I listened to it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I loved it. It's, I mean, it's, I don't want to just really say too much about it, but it's, it's, it's a different me, uh, but as God takes you to, you know, to the next level, then, you know, it's, it's it's more of a, a praise feel song, okay. but it's 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 it'll get you. I think it'll, it'll get us. Yeah, I think everybody will enjoy it. It's upbeat. Uh, 
kind of like make it happen, but a little bit churchier, more. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just excited about that, uh, <laughs> my uh, single release. And then also I'm getting ready to get back on stage. Um, within the next month, um, like I was saying, with Soul Purpose, we're getting ready to go back out and tour. So we're looking at doing something around October. So we're getting ready to start rehearsals for that. So I'm excited about about that. And what God is going to do um, with me, for me, and through me, even with my new single and even with, with the acting. And, you know, my, my prayer, and I've already told God, I, I, that, see, that single, I know it's going to go nationally, internationally. It's going to go everywhere. I'm speaking it on the billboard charts and everything. Amen. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do it. So I'm just excited about it. Um, and just looking forward to um, how it's going to be a blessing to the people of God. Well, I want to say congratulations Thank on you. your single and to everything, you know, that God is doing in your life. And you have to keep me posted, you know, so I can, you know, post that information, you know, okay. you know, have people download it and, and you mm -hmm. know, everything, because mm -hmm. I believe, and, you know, in supporting yes. other women, Thank you. you know, just other people in general. You know, especially people who are doing good for the kingdom. Thank you. And you know, you are doing so much, and your bio is nothing has has but kingdom all over it. Praise God so, to God. So I definitely Lord. want to make sure you know that you get the support. You know, thank on you. That. Thank you. I sure will definitely because I think we're friends now on Facebook. Yes. So. <laughs> So I definitely will uh, let you know more about it when it happens for sure. So just keep me, you know, uh, prayed up on that. I know that God is just going to do a new thing and I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about it. And Amen. and again, uh, I thank you again also for this opportunity to uh, be a part of the live, Miss Wanda's live. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. And for those that are watching, Go yes. to your um your digital platforms, Apple Music, or however you download music. You can even go on YouTube and get mm -hmm. my favorite song <laughs> by CC <laughs> called it Make It Happen. And just let that song minister to mm -hmm. you because, you know, you got to make it happen. You know, yes. you may have had some setbacks and, you know, people walk away from you. You may be going through some trials. you like, you know, God, can I make it another day? You know, but listen to that song and let that song minister to mm -hmm. you. And mm -hmm. if Cece wanted to sing a little note of it, that would be good. But or just go and download <laughs> Make It Happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go down low, make it happen. Go down make it happen. low, make it happen. We've been on this journey so long. Yeah, okay. All right, y'all go down low. <laughs> now, Cece, how can people keep in contact with you? What are your social media okay. handles or your website if you mm -hmm. have one? Yes, I do. My website is uh, CC God Boat. That's C E C E God Boat. G O D B O L T dot net. And I want to spell it because people may get the God Boat with B O A T, but it's G O D B O L T and it's C E C E God Boat dot net. And my uh, Facebook, my fan page on Facebook is CC God Boat. Uh, my uh, profile page is Cecilia God Boat Domain. But my fan page, you can reach me on uh, CC God Vote. My Twitter and my Instagram is at CC God Vote. And I'm now on TikTok, but I just got on there, so I don't know really how to work that <laughs> thing. But but I'm TikToking. <laughs> it's at CC God Vote. So I'm all my social media. Um, I'm out there on all social media. Um, my handles so. At CC Godbo Instagram, Twitter, and CC Godbo fan page, Facebook, and www.ccgodbo.net is my website. So you can go on my website, you can follow me on there, you can book me. Uh, anything that I have going on um, is posted on there so you can know what's going on with CC. So, and we can make it happen together. Make it happen <laughs> together. Well, thank you so much, CC, for giving out that information. And I encourage everyone to go and follow this amazing woman of God. She is Thank doing you. great things. And also follow, go to my website. It's wandabrisco.org. And subscribe to the newsletter. I send out a newsletter every mm, week. Okay. And that lets you know who is going to be the upcoming guest on Wanda's Warriors Live. And it would also have um, in my speaking engagements that are upcoming. I have quite a few that's coming up for july on through the rest of the year so 
I'm going right. to don't say busy. I'm going to be productive. You making it happen. I'm making it happen. <laughs> I'm making it happen. Yes. And my Instagram um, is I am Wanda Briscoe and Facebook is um, Wanda Briscoe. And my YouTube channel is um, Wanda Briscoe. So this video, we couldn't go live on YouTube, but I will upload it um, when this live is over on YouTube. So I thank you again, CC, for taking time out of your schedule to be on Wanda's Warriors Live has been truly a blessing. You yes. have truly blessed my spirit. And I pray Deuteronomy 1 and 11 back into your life. Amen. And for those who don't know that scripture, it says, may the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times and bless you as he has promised. Amen. Thank you. And I pray that into your life and God will give Amen. you strength for the journey as the world opens back up. Yes, thank you so much. Continue to do kingdom business. All right, thank you again, Amen. and blessings thank to you. you. Thank you so much. All right. So th thank you again, everyone, for watching Wanda's Warriors Live. Tune in on next Thursday. Join the newsletter so you can see who that guest is, and you can join the newsletter again at WandaBriscoe.org. Thank you again. Have a blessed evening. Enjoy the long holiday weekend, mm -hmm. and stay safe.